so I'm going from the welder here to go see the engraver, but he's not in his shop. So I'll just give you a quick peek inside. Uh, it's not very big, his space, but he's got everything that he needs. His main tool is this pantograph right here. Staircase. Toilet. I'm out of here. Just around the corner is the machinist. Uh, I had a little bit of business with him. And then I'm going to head to a hardware store just straight up this road here. This is a very old, more traditional style hardware store. Woman who runs this place can really talk, so I want to get in and out. Later, cat. Let me do my sneaky, illegal turn down this small alley. I'm going to go to a few different hardware stores today. Each hardware store here seems to specialize in different things, and I need to pick up a few of this and that, so come along. Here is for motor scooters that want to turn left. road here is loaded with different hardware stores that sell all different items on either side of the road. I don't need anything from these hardware stores here. I'm going to head over to a specialty store that deals in a lot of woodworking stuff, mainly Japanese style tools. I'm looking to the right because that's a beer shop I used to frequent a lot but haven't been there in a long while. I need to turn left here, but I'm not sure if it's legal for scooters to do so, and this is a pretty big intersection, so I'll just pass this road and then see if I can double back. Let me see, let me see. Uh, I can do it probably here. Kids, don't do this in your town. It's been a really long while since I've been here, and so I'm not exactly sure. I know it's next to this Pizza Hut somewhere. Uh, I don't know, it looks like it might not be open anymore. I don't know. 
this is where I thought it used to be. Go ahead a little bit, see if I can find it. And there it is, right there. Now I just have to park. And if I probably want to park legally, I'll have to probably go to another zip code for crying out loud. I can't believe there's a spot here. I should hurry up and go play the lottery. Either that or check my shoes for dog dude. The main thing I need to get here is a replacement blade for my Japanese handsaw. They have some pretty high quality hand tools here. I love these wooden planes, but you have to be careful. Uh, some of them have really high quality Japanese blades in them but some are cheaper Taiwanese knockoffs and it's probably it's hard to tell but I guess the price is the best indicator I like looking at the interesting hardware like this. It gives me different ideas. Okay, I got what I need from this place. So time to hit the road again and head to a final hardware store that's a bit farther away. At this point I'm already in another part of town uh, closer to my home and I need to uh, cross a bridge and leave Taipei City and into what they call New Taipei City. is my town and so of course I know my way around 
but if you were new here or you didn't know what part of town you were in boy you could really get lost in the sauce the roads turn this way and twist that way the names change for no reason it's like the three stooges planned this city while they were drunk on their own homemade brew got to be careful when crossing this bridge the lane that motor scooters are to ride in is really narrow but they still ride side by side so it's just got to be pretty careful here How slow the scooters are moving right now lets me know that there's a Slowpoke Rodriguez, or maybe I should say Slowpoke Lee, at the front of the line here and taking up the middle. That's fine, but sometimes can be pretty frustrating. colorful structure above is the newest mass rapid transit line. Well, I can finally grab myself a little open road right here.
this blue middle lane is for scooters that want to turn left. building a new mass rapid transit line in the middle of this road and the stores on either side have had to shift around a little bit. I haven't been to this hardware store in a while. It's a bigger one and so we'll see if it's even still there. I think it is though. There it is, right there on my left, the store with the blue Bosch sign. So this hardware store has a more western style feel to it, the size of it, it's bigger. I mean it's not a big box store, it's not like a home despot or blows. But it's fairly big, especially for Taiwan. Probably the biggest hardware store I've seen in Taiwan is a place called uh, Te Li Wu, or I think in English it just say B&Q. And the ir irony of it is, is that it's probably the least popular, least shopped hardware store. The mom and pop hardware stores still have a pretty strong grip here. They've got every sort of thing that you could ever want to use with an angle grinder. Every sort of attachment. This is obviously a Bosch retailer. Well, this is my haul for the day. The main thing was the saw blade, but I picked up a few other items like that flap wheel. I also needed that for my bench grinder. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.